52-year-old Robiul was not ready to accept the sudden death of his daughter. He was completely devastated after his loss, and the battle to take legal custody of his granddaughter was burdensome and made the pain unbearable. Previously, he also lost his son-in-law, who was brutally killed in Myanmar. This is why obtaining legal custody of his seven-year-old granddaughter was very important to him. He did not know the procedures and was confused. With such uncertainty and frustration, he became ill both physically and mentally. <laughs> Save the Children International and Partners in Health and Development provided Robul with support through the mental health and psychosocial services at the Health Post. Under the Australian Humanitarian Partnership Bangladesh Consortium, funded by the Australian Government's Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, there, the doctors and psychosocial workers tried to assist Robul by providing physical and mental health treatment for the complications brought on by stress and grief after losing his child. So, when we know clan Shambhu, we have a lot of people who are living in the world. We have a lot of people who are living in the world. We have a lot of people who are living in the world. সেই ব্যাপারে আমরা সেশনের মাধ্যমে তাকে সাহায্য করার চেষ্টা করি যেমন তার ঘুমের সমস্যা হচ্ছিল তার পালপিটেশন হচ্ছিল তো এই বিষয়গুলোকেও ডিল করার জন্য তাকে স্লিপ হাইজিন সহ বেশ কিছু মেন্টাল হেলথ বিষয়ক সাইকো এডুকেশন প্রোভাইড করেছিলাম তার সব কিছু আমার দিলে কথা মনের কথা যতগুলো আছে সেখান থেকে আপু রেখে সব কিছু কথা বলছি যে আপু যে তো সে আছে রবিসে যে তো হবে কি তোমার আমি তো তোমার নাতিটা তোমার কি কাগজ আমার তুলে দিয়ে দিব under this program, four health posts have been established in four different camps to provide health services and mental health and psychosocial services. Other services at the posts include sexual and reproductive health, immunization, infant and young child feeding, and COVID-19 management support to refugees. Children, women, and people with disabilities have been prioritized in providing these services. About 95,000 refugees have received services from the project so far. The health posts and the services they provide are supporting the AHP Bangladesh Consortium to achieve its targets on improving protection and wash and health under the basic needs outcome.